the basis of that you've gone about arresting people you've gone about ra- uh, conducting these raids this has to be seen as an attack on democracy and this is something that we have to all stand up against on 21st evening he got information 22nd these raids happened all over the country और हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स में एक रिपोर्ट आया है जिसमें एन ऑफिशियल्स ने बोला है कि पी एफ आई इज इंडलजिंग इन वेरी डेंजरस एक्टिविटीज लाइक वर्किंग विद दलित ग्रुप्स क्वेश्चनिंग पुलिस अट्रॉसिटीज क्वेश्चनिंग वायलेंस क्वेश्चनिंग यू ए पी ए वाई शुड वी नॉट क्वेश्चन यू ए पी ए एंड वाई शुड वी नॉट क्वेश्चन पुलिस अट्रॉसिटीज एंड इज इट रॉन्ग टू वर्क विद दलित ग्रुप्स वॉइस have been booked and especially muslim community is being targeted this attack on pfi should be seen as a continuing form of islamophobia from the central government there is no crime definitely there is no offense which is over there so all this shows that uh, you know that ye sab uh, isliye kar rahe hai kyunki wo sarkar ka policies ko question kar rahe hai definitely uh, the central government seems to target anybody who questions them. see this attack uh, this arrests and this raids that we have seen across the country we have to see this as a the another way in which the uh, the government is misusing the state agencies state power to target people and this is another we have to see this as an assault on democracy itself because if you look at the look at the fir on the uh, which has been registered there is no crime that is stated it is based on assumptions is based on surmises it has it has absolutely no crime mentioned there on the basis of that you've gone about arresting people you've gone about re, uh, conducting these raids this has to be seen as an attack on democracy and this is something that we have to all stand up against in fact you know we must remember that even when simi was banned so many people were arrested so many people spent so many years in jail and then they were all acquitted so that's another thing that we are seeing now and this is absolutely something that we cannot accept and we have to condemn such an uh, such a raid and attack Uh, and raid and arrest so that i think we have to view this as an attack on democracy we have to view this as an assault on democratic rights we have to view this as an assault on the constitutional values as an abuse of state power and we all have to condemn this this, this is we ha- there is a, there are no, there's no two ways about the fact that this is an abuse of state power and it must be condemned pf ke raid ke bare mein baat karenge to ye raid september 22nd hua hai ed nia aur state police कर्नाटका में क्या हुआ सितंबर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नाइट को एक एफआईआर रजिस्टर हुआ है उसमें लिखा है कि स्टेट इंटेलिजेंस डिपार्टमेंट में एक ऑफिसर को द एफ आई सेज दिस ऑफिसर गॉट क्रेडिबल इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट पीएफआई एफ इज प्लाइंग कॉन्स्परेसी टू इनसाइड हेटरेड अमंग मुस्लिम यूथ एंड डिवाइड द कंट्री ऑन रिलीजियस लैंड हाउ इज इट दैट ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट इवनिंग ही गॉट इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड दिस रेड्स हैपेंड ऑल ओवर द कंट्री so this all seem and you know if you see that fir there are very serious sections like section on waging war this 120 121b uh, sorry 121a 120b etc there are very serious sections on waging war against the country etc how can you uh, register fir under such sections without any evidence of a crime if you see that fir which has been registered in kgld police station against pfi there is no crime there is no offense which is over there so all this shows that uh, you know that ye sab uh, isliye kar rahe hai kyunki wo sarkar ka policies ko question kar rahe hai aur hindustan times mein ek report aaya hai jisme nia officials ne bola hai ki pfi is indulging in dar- very dangerous activities like working with dalit groups questioning police atrocities uh, questioning uh, violence questioning uh, uapa why should we not question uapa and why should we not question uh, police atrocities and is it wrong to work with dalit groups so why is pfi uh, you know uh, being targeted for something like this it's just a continuous pattern if you see from bima koregaon also like you know various activists have been booked uh, and uh, not just here but even if you see the delhi pogrom also there are various activists who are booked so people are raising their voice have been booked and especially muslim community is being targeted this attack on pfi should be seen as a continuing form of islamophobia from the central government is so definitely uh, the central government seems to target anybody who questions them so it is important for all of us in civil society everybody in civil society might not agree with pfi's ideology i might also not agree with pfi's ideology or its politics but the process has to be questioned because the central government is targeting anybody who questions them and who you know opposes their policies anybody who wants to uphold the constitution is being targeted